Hello everyone and welcome back to another part of Let's Play Eador, Masters of the Broken World on Overworld Difficulty. In the previous part we managed to get into the second ring. Um, we are basically forced to do it even though I wasn't quite sure if it's a good idea. We are running out of targets but yeah, we managed to do it and uh, it paid off. Uh, it resulted into uh, two more medals for our healers so now I'm a lot more confident with this army. In this part, I'd like to try these barbarian tribes and get the iron. That iron is really important, would make it uh, much cheaper to uh, build mines in all these hilly provinces. And also there are some buildings connected to iron that uh, improve the income. So it's extremely important resource. Hopefully it's gonna work. Uh, I think there is even, yeah, there's a new location, so maybe you'll get something there to fight. And after that, uh, we basically have one last target left, which are these brigands outlaws in the second ring with one location. So maybe there will be one extra fight. But the rest of the provinces in the second ring are just elves. One, two, three, four, five, six elven provinces in the second ring. That's a really bad luck, even though we are on Daryl's shard, where uh, it's to be expected to have more elves. Though having them like everywhere, that's still really annoying, and um, I may have to just uh, get back to exploring and uh, explore with both heroes because there's really just nothing to fight. I'm not sure uh, how I'll be able to fix the economy just with uh, you know these two uh, provinces and one iron. So, even though for now we still have some things to do, uh, in the very near future we may run out of targets and start exploring that will uh, waste a lot of turns, we will give Daryl a lot of time to prepare. It's not really going exactly uh, according to plan and uh, all that I'm saying uh, depends on us being able to take these provinces which uh, really is not guaranteed. So this uh, really can be another long shard with, uh, or where the result will be quite uncertain until we meet uh, the Lord and see how well or bad the AI is doing. But yeah, let's, um, let's just start playing, we'll see what's gonna happen. Okay, first I want my heroes to meet in this province. So, end the turn. And now I want to trade this barbarian. I may need one unit I'll sacrifice in this fight. I'm not entirely sure that it's possible to do this without losses. So I can live with uh, one dead level 0 barbarian. Definitely better than losing those level 5 and 6 barbarians we have. Okay, so you'll go there. And now I was thinking about what to do with my with my scout and um, I think exploring in the first ring would be a complete waste of time. We now need some decent stronger targets that would uh, give us first a lot of gold and also more experience than uh, those T1 fights uh, we are getting uh, so uh, or we were fighting uh, until up until now. So I think I will send him there as well. Uh, I think I prefer exp exploring hill province over forest province uh, because uh, the type of uh, locations you can get in uh, these two provinces is a bit different and um, in forests there is a lot of like druids and stuff like that which I, or elves which I don't want to fight which are really uh, real hard fights uh, compared to hills where it's more like orcs and stuff like that so I'll try my luck here. And what else? Oh, do I want to cast extravagance? I probably should. The question is uh, where to use it. What does it look like here? Still have some time with this province. And 
this province is very discontent with extravaganza active. So I think I won't be able to calm them down, so let's just um, play it safe, use it here. This province will calm down if I focus uh, my rituals there, and I'll just hire guard in this province and won't waste any resources on it anymore. Okay, so let's see how it's gonna work with those barbarians. Hopefully it's gonna work. It's very important in this fight. And no surprise. But still, six units with uh, it should be like four barbarians, one thug and no shaman is um uh, pretty tough fight. Okay, first uh, how can I do this? Uh, one, two, three, four I'll have to move these guys uh, uh, a bit when I start the fight. I'm just thinking how I'm gonna move them. I'd like to get a healer probably on this hill or on this style. Um, this guy will move forward. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's leave it like this, and uh, when I see how exactly they will be moving, I will do something uh, with my position. Uh, thug all the way down here, and I think he is gonna come down, so I may have to bring one more barbarian somewhere to this part. And how does it look like up here? Yeah, this guy will be very important now with those three medals. I hope they will allow me to kill opponent's barbarians just with two attacks. <laughs> you will definitely move forward. I'll probably move this guy forward as well. I will, I think I will need this healer on this tile, the stronger one, in the range of like almost all of my units, and the other one will be standing up here. So move there. You'll move like this, and you'll go back. Okay, now this guy can reach everyone, that's good, and I hope that I'll be able to always um, kite one of these barbarians on this style and like keep killing them here, and uh, yeah, they should be going after this weaker guy, so hopefully that's gonna work. He will have uh, his own extra healer. Here, if I want, I can move this guy forward quickly. That should be fine. Okay, I think I like this. Uh, uh, like this position, and now we will see if it uh, if it's gonna work. Uh, this guy should move on this tile next turn. That's fine. You will move probably on this tile and throw your eggs. You should throw your eggs, and you will just move on one of these tiles. Um, I don't think I need to cast anything this turn, so let's go. Yeah, that's fine. Good, good, good. This is what I wanted. This guy will be the tape. Will be taking damage for me for quite a while, probably. Uh, you can attack and please finish him off. Perfect. Now a heal for you, and the question is, are you gonna survive? Should be fine. So I will heal this guy. To make sure that this barbarian is gonna attack uh, here again. Um, now it's probably time for fatigue because next turn I will have to start using that. Weaken this guy a bit. He still should move and attack one of these two. Uh, this guy will just move 
and won't be able to attack. Okay, good. Go. Oh, 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 oh. Well, at least this guy uh, attacked here, that's fine then. Okay, heal up. Now, how to do this? Do I have to kill this one? I probably don't, he has just 3 stamina. So... He shouldn't be that dangerous, do you still have your axe? You don't. Mm hmm. You still have three shots, that's a lot. That's a lot. So it's a range two, four, five. So I really shouldn't move on this tile. Uh, how to do this? Yeah, this is kind of safe. But now, do I want to move forward with these guys already or not? Can you reach him? How much damage you can do? Nine eventually. With oh, this guy does no damage. Hmm. I would like to do at least some damage to the tag already. But the only thing I can do now probably is just uh, move like this. Web the tag. Attack with this guy, it's almost no damage. Is my healer gonna survive? He is. Or I can always move him back. Do you have X? You don't. You know what? I'm gonna risk it here. I think my healer is safe, even though he's gonna be attacked next turn. Um. I want to make sure that I'm really gonna kill the thug while I have webs active. And you can heal probably this guy so I can can use him in this fight. Okay. Now yeah, that's fine. It's fine as well, and the shaman will do some extra damage. But uh, that shouldn't be a problem either. Now these guys how to do it? We'll move down, I guess. You will move down as well. Kill him. Okay, okay. Good, good, good. This looks good. Heal the healer a bit. And now, can I survive? Another attack and cast. Probably not. Two, four, five. This guy's in danger as well, though. One, two. Come oh, on, this is risky. Three attack and web attack again. Okay, you have oh, you still have two shots. Let's see. Oh, it should be fine. I just have to retreat with this guy most likely now. Yeah. Can't stay there anymore. Okay. 
go back. We'll take this place. We don't need a heal, definitely. We can move forward, and now I have to kill the talk. Good. It worked. They're still not berserking, right? Nope. And this guy should be able to survive both the attack and the, the last uh, shot from the shaman. Okay, I think I think you're fine. And they're not even gonna focus their attacks. Okay, let's kill the barbarian. Actually, uh, caused a lot of trouble. All of them uh, just went down really fast in the last one. It was the most dangerous one. Okay, heal up everyone. And finish this fight. This worked quite well. I was really quite afraid of that, uh, of the tug, but uh, I was able to keep him wept the whole time. So it wasn't that bad at all. And the shaman is down, so let's see. It would be nice to get some more medals from this. Uh, the chance is definitely quite high. Let's see. No, nothing. Well, we had uh, two in the previous fight, so I really can't complain. Uh, people want holiday. Where is that? In the province where we don't have any population mood problems yet, but after this we will have. Because I'm gonna again hang everyone who refuses to work. What does it look like now? Yeah, furious, I guess. And um, we're getting back to the usual, usual state of our country where everyone hates us, and we have rebellions everywhere. So I also have to get uh, more guards eventually. But now, with when we have the iron. I want to get to Digger's Guild as fast as possible and start spamming those mines. So first uh, we need Forge. And what's here? Brigands. Brigands we can do, definitely. That should be some extra gold. And what about you? I'm thinking about uh, sending him somewhere to plunder some more. I also need those um, need those extra locations. Now you will you will explore, and I may plunder a bit with the with the main hero uh, during the way to this uh, province. I may plunder shattered hills once or twice. I think we can end the turn. So, how does it look like here? <laughs> I'd like to use these two mountains here, my advantage. So I will try, actually it will be better here, um, I'll try to do something like this, just not sure with this healer, or with you know, the position of both my healers, it depends on uh, what the assassin is going to decide to do, if he's going to move up, probably he's going to move up, because there is no obstacle in front of him, here is the hill. Maybe it's better to swap those guys. I may need more healing up here. Okay, looks good. Now, definitely need to weaken the Roman at least a bit. And let's see what the assassin gonna do. Sure, that's fine. Yeah, and this is what I wanted. Okay. Heal up, and I definitely have to wrap him. And that's why I place this guy with the 
three medals here because he'll be able to kill him really fast. Although I don't want to kill him yet, because like this I'm just gonna take the shot from the from the bowman and maybe one the dagger from a thief. If I killed him with uh, my ranged attacks, if I was able to do it. I thought I'm gonna do more damage with those throws. But if I killed him, I would allow probably the brigand to come closer and would take a lot more damage. So here it's better to keep the unit as a block there. Uh, what I could do though is weaken one of those thieves and maybe you can try to do some damage as well. Okay, that's fine. I'll probably have to use the second web on the Steve. How much damage can you do? Well, let's get the kill now. Oh, it was a very, very decent hit. And I think, even though it might seem weird, I'm gonna block this uh, or web this brigand because I would rather have this thief attacking the barbarian than the brigand. So like this, I'll uh, I'll make sure that it's gonna happen, and this brigand is gonna attack this barbarian, which I can live with. Okay, that's good. This is fine as well. Some poison there, but it shouldn't be a problem. Heal up. Have to keep healing this guy. He's really taking a lot of damage there. And now, can I kill this brigand? That's a good question. Uh, I wanted to check if I have any spells left. No, I don't. Hmm. <laughs> What can I do here? Probably just take one more attack from Thief. Move this guy forward. Can you get a kill? Well, oh, this was oh, this was a bad idea. Now I will attack, or he will attack, die from the counter attack, and I will take another attack from this brigand. Ah, uh, that was a stupid thing there. Though I should survive it, but it was a mistake. Uh, seven, seven, seven. Mm. I think it's fine like this. Oh, he didn't die. Good. Now this guy sh I wanted to say this guy shouldn't be able to attack, but it was actually a good move from the thief. Still wasn't enough. Okay. Big heal there. Finish of this guy. You now uh, probably won't have enough damage to get a kill, but it was worth the try. It worked. Okay. You clear this guy, and we are fine again. At one point, it was a bit tricky there, but worked again. Heal up everyone. Again, trying to get uh, more medals for healers. Uh, come on, keep healing. How does it look like with that uh, bowman? One arrow. I guess I'll just wait until he depletes it. Uh, heal up. You can come down for the heal. But you know what, you will just run forward then to uh, kill the bowman as fast as possible. 
Come down for your heel. And let's finish this. Okay, so let's see the reward. Any level ups? Good, this is a decent one. Two hit points uh, for you, let's say, counter attack for the healer. I think morale is still real low. So let's boost him. More hit points for you. No medals though. 187 gold is very decent. And um, these embroidered bracers are really good with plus 7 income. So that's a pretty nice loot here. Okay. Uh, keep exploring. And let's see. It's already equipped. That's important. I really have to make sure that uh, I have this active. That will help with the economy. Uh, no more targets, so I guess uh, go down. And how does it look like? 246 gold. It's decent. Um, how much do we need? 155. Yes, definitely want to build uh, the, the guild. And I should have enough gold to get the mine here. That's the highest priority. We'll get uh, a little bit of extra, extra gold per turn thanks to the iron there. Good, 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 good. And how does it look like? Plus three. Oh, finally, back to positive numbers. And now it should be rising quite fast. Uh, if I get enough gold to build the mine every turn. Uh, which means I will probably plunder this province once. Explore, go down. Yes, that's right. Other option is just to use a uh, fair wind and get this province in one turn. Uh, but I'll probably just use it on my way back. Uh, I hope that I'll get some more targets here. <coughs> okay, let's go. No, no targets for now. But uh, this will take a few turns getting all the way down, so... Hopefully we'll get something, and yeah, I want to plunder the province. Okay, how does it look like with the items you can sell? Nothing important. Come on, give me decent. Oh, 57, that's fine, that's enough to build another mine. Wait for new orders. Oh, dark cave. Anything else? Nope. And here we have your spice report that goblins in the province of my place have made a clay that may represent. Oh, this is this, this event. Um, I think the best way to handle this is to fi find others and execute them. That even should improve the population mood when I show them you know, the strong hand. That actually works well with goblins, I think. We are indignant, so let's see how it's gonna. Oh, no. Uh, I thought that it's actually a good thing when you... when you execute those authors of that, uh, of that statue, but... it didn't work quite as planned. Okay, now... We'll it's three provinces that uh, I really won't be able to save. And this province is about the price. Four turns. I'm thinking if I have time to build a mine and go get uh, gold for guard, or if I have to, to have to delay the mine and uh, first go for the guard. If I get the mine, I'll get to be like plus 8 and I'll be left with 15 golds. No, that's not gonna be enough. Most likely. And I'll have, I will get some gold from this fight. And I think that should be enough with the, with the, with the spoils. Okay, let's, um, let's go with the mine then. And I hope that I'm right. <laughs> okay, keep, uh, keep going. What was this uh, allocation? Demons. Uh, tier 2 demons. Actually, that might be doable.
Okay, go down. Keep exploring and I don't really have anything to do. So again, I'm wasting some turns here though. I don't have uh, anything to fight in this province and this is the only targets I know I can do or I can kill so don't really have a choice here. And how does it look like? Uh, I want to stay down here or move. I'm standing in swamp with, with everyone almost, but I can move away if I have to. This guy can move. I think it's, it's actually fine. I just have to make sure that they kill that assassin fast enough. Okay, let's see what they're gonna do. Fatigue on the bowman as usual. And now... How bad idea would be to move this barbarian towards the brigand and just block him? Well, it's not that bad. Let's do it. You can move. And these two guys... These two guys will kill the thief. Hopefully. Okay, good. And now I can web that assassin. Maybe you can even attack the counter, that shouldn't be that bad. Oh, that hurt. Well, I think it's fine. Now I can move these three guys to the assassin. You will just move out of the way. You will get a heal and finish off the brigand. Perfect. One, two. Come on. Aha. Really? But I think I can let him out of the web with two hit points, and it's better to web the thief. Just want to make sure that uh, he's not gonna backstab anyone. Okay, go. He's probably gonna get yeah, the bonus here, but okay, retweet. Now you have more damage, so I want to have this guy on the thief. So you will get a kill. You now can move forward, a heal for this guy and this one, and here, oh come on, can't kill a thief that's standing in swamp with two attacks. Okay, you have to retreat in that case. You will move forward, finish him off. Uh, that is safe to attack the brigand. You guys need some more healing still. And I think it's fine. Okay. And again, I'll try to use uh, all my heals, or as many heals as possible. Heal up. You are healed, so let's move out of the way. You are healed as well, so we can move away and make some room for these two guys who still need some healing. Still three more arrows, so a bit of damage still incoming. And you know what, you can start moving to that woman. Okay. Another heal. And another heal. 
and let's finish this. Okay. And I hope I'm gonna I'm gonna get enough gold to hire the guard. Yeah, it should be enough. Okay, what about some some else uh, or a level up? Oh, health. Uh, I'm hoping for for magic now. One extra web would be really useful. What do we have? Logistics is useless. I said that I'm not gonna grab defensive tactics. Or actually, I will need uh, defensive tactics even if I go with uh, the ranged army. That ranged defense is too important. Hmm. Yeah, let's um, hook this up, I guess. Should I risk it and go for the for the offense first? But I'm still not uh, not entirely sure that I'm uh, gonna be able to do the swap on this map. Oh uh, no, I have to play this safe. I'm sorry guys, I know that I said that I will do it here, but um, I don't want to swap the uh, the army and uh, lose the Shire because of that. So, maybe it will be a bit later, depending also on what the uh, what uh, Dario is going to do and how fast he'll be able to get to me. Okay, what else do we have? Stamina for you, extra healing, definitely. No medals, and you didn't find anything. Come on, uh, this guy is like really useless so far. Didn't find uh, that many targets, like four or five so far in like 20 turns, 25 turns. That's not that good. Okay, before I forget, let's hire those adventures. And anything interesting here? Oh, demons. That might be doable. And that's more or less the only target we target we now have. So um, I don't really have a choice. I think I'll try it. And here we have those demons as well. Anything? Anything else? Goblins. I don't really want to go uh, after goblins until all of my units have 18 plus hit points, because that acid those alchemists have is just way too deadly, especially against healers. And this is basically all we have. Maybe yeah, we have harpies. Uh, those clerics are way too hard. This could be an option. But all of these fights I'm talking about now are so risky. So maybe we'll have to do some uh, some exploring in the next part. But we will see. Also depends a bit on my mood, how I feel about like you know going after those risky fights. And um, I hope you'll join me for the next part again. And until then, have a good time and bye bye.